Thank you, Kyrie. We're seeing a mix but pretty flat open for the Korean markets today ahead of the markets being closed for three days uh, starting tomorrow for Lunar New Year's holiday. And related to this holiday, we're seeing five analyst re reports out this morning. One of them, Shinhan, expecting Hotel Shilla's hotel and duty-free business to benefit from these New Year holidays. Um, they are saying increasing tourists from China during these holidays will be uh, positive for this stock. Reports are all, are all citing a all time a record number of people traveling in and out of the country during this time, meaning increased duty-free sales. And just looking at the tourists visiting Korea during this week, uh, analysts are expecting 126,000 tourists just from China. Uh, they are expected to visit during this week starting tomorrow, which is a 30 percent increase year on year. Also, duty-free store sales have historically uh, seen a big jump during these holidays. And these reports are citing the fact that there is uncertainty out of the way in terms of the Incheon International Airport duty-free license bid that Hotel Shilla has completed. Uh, Hotel Shilla has won the license to sell cosmetics and also additionally they'll be able to sell alcohol and tobacco products as well. Um, going back to the markets by sector, take a look at the telcos today. Uh, we are seeing gains for this name. Uh, SK Telecom is said to be uh, getting into the fintech space. They are uh, said to be developing a new business where people can use a mobile app in their smartphones to pay for products uh, like a credit card. And once this is is launched. Uh, SK Telecom is a telecom carrier for about half of all cell phone users in Korea. So this is expected to be a big uh, change for the fintech markets. Let's check on the Korean markets at the open. Matt, over to you. Thanks very much.